Welcome to Three Acre Homestead. My name is Dana, if you're new here. Um, what are we doing today? We're making boo baskets for the grandbabies. We've got three little grandbabies and we picked out cauldrons, little black cauldrons. And I thought we could side them. What is a boo basket, by the way? It's just a little basket of goodies to give to the kids at Halloween. You can use any basket you want. I chose this sparkly, um, this gift wrapping stuff to line the buckets with. I thought it'd be a good contrast to the black. So we're just gonna, I think I'll put a couple sheets in each one. Never made a boo basket before. I think I saw it on Facebook or something. So you get a cup, a book, candy like moot theater candy. I just thought it would be a fun treat. I love to spoil those grandkids. this stuff before so he's got to be nosy and check it all out so that's what he's doing is messing with stuff that doesn't belong to him I think I'm going to use all of this paper just why not a little more. Okay, all of this stuff came from, well, I'm not going to use all at all. I think I'm done. I got all of this stuff from Dollar Tree. So the first thing we got them are these plush throw pillows. I'm going to bring it up close. It's little ghosts. I got all these the same. I'm gonna go ahead and take this um, So there's seven, six, and three. All of this is for him. I'm gonna cut into one of these little blankets. There we go. I want them to be able to unwrap them as soon as what I'm doing is just cutting off the little plastic things. Kitty, put your face away, your whiskers. Yeah, they're not very thick, but they're still going to be cute. So there's one. Put that in there. Did you ever get a boo basket at Halloween? <laughs> I never did. Says trick or treat on them. Then we also got what would be cute in there next. Everybody got a spooky, uh, this one they include stickers to color on. They can color, and then I don't know, it's supposed to have stickers. There's the stickers. And then they can just color in here. So, so we got two households. So I got this for the two girls. Um, and this other one for the boy or vice versa. It doesn't matter really. Just, it's just so that the one household doesn't have two of the same. They can kind of share the brother and sister. 
and they each got a book to read. I just thought these were cute. Um, this one is Dim Bones, and it just goes along and talks about, let's get Dim Bones moving. Dim Bones, Dim Bones, Dim Bones, Dim Dry Bones, all the way through. Now, once again, so that we don't, well, our households don't have the same thing. I found this Little Kitty's Perfect Pumpkin, and I'm gonna give this to the six-year-old. She loves little kitties. Um, I'm just a little kitty who loves Halloween. I want a pumpkin to decorate. Can you come along with me? She's a first grader, so she can read now. So that way, again, the households have two different books. And then each child is getting a little, I just thought those were cute, little pumpkin cups. I've, I've pre-washed these already so that when they get them, they can, we can go ahead and put whatever beverage in there that they would like straight up, straight away. With the, since we got coloring books, I thought some glitter crayons would be fun. And um, the one child is a, a little boy, but he's getting glitter too. I don't even know if he'll use them. He's into gaming more than he is. More into gaming than he is in reading. And then, because we've got a bag full of candy for everybody, why not get a toothbrush and toothpaste? So these toothbrushes came in a three pack. They're all sharks and to keep them clean and you know sanitary I'm gonna just use a sandwich bag to put them in so they're clean and don't get dusty or gross so each child gets why not encourage brushing teeth when it's the sweetest holiday of all Old. She has an electric toothbrush, but she can have this one to, to go, or she can leave it here. All three of them can leave it here so they have a toothbrush. I mean, they have some, but they want to. These were, this was an impulse buy. Well, all of it's kind of an impulse buy, but they're these squishy surprise collect all six styles. I don't really know what they are, but I just thought oh, that's something to put in a bag or a, a boo basket. Okay, so now the candy. We got the two biggest ones, Swedish Fish. And let's see, I forgot. Uh, the three-year-old loves M&Ms and her mommy's kind of using them to help with potty training. Oh, that's not, uh, this is Eliana's because of the book. And the big kids got M&M's with peanuts. What else do we have? And then we didn't want to get just pure, pure junk. So for the three-year-old, she's getting some fruit and yogurt, strawberry snacks. And everybody's getting just some fruit snacks. Everybody loves some fruit snacks. I thought, why not? You get sugar and then have something that's a touch healthy. And then we picked this spider webby stuff up and we thought it might be fun. I don't even know how I'm gonna use it, but it kind of make it look like there's, can you cut this stuff? I've never used this stuff before, but this might not, let me see if I can make it work. It might not be a good idea because it's not cutting real easy, which is surprising me. Or not with these scissors anyway. I enjoy Halloween. I don't enjoy this the mean and devilly stuff about it, but I enjoy the happy little happy ghosts and cartoon figures and I'm sure the thick spider web. Yeah, it has 
some spiders on it. Stick a spider here and there. I'm probably gonna regret this spider web stuff. Put it all over the cat. Y'all seen those orbs, garden spiders? I think they're beautiful. And they're super good for your garden because they eat the bugs. We had them in Texas. I've not seen any up here in Michigan. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna have the kids come over in early October, give them their boo baskets, let them help me decorate the house, and then do pumpkins. And I, I realize the pumpkins aren't gonna last till Halloween, but that's okay. It's still a fun activity that we can all do together. Spend some fun time. What do y'all think? I'm not certain about this spider webby stuff, but they can use their imaginations. Everybody gets a spider. only one more spider in this so we'll just let everybody have one spider so there you go everyone boo baskets for the ones you love so I'll be putting this out in a couple weeks probably so that you will have time if you're inspired to go make your little ones a boo basket you have time to go and get it all together and do what you want with your imagination Thanks for coming with me today. I appreciate you being here. And please like, subscribe, and press those notifications. I really appreciate it when you watch it all the way through. That's very, very helpful. And we will see you next time. Bye.